Hello and welcome to that pedal show. Dan here, Mick here, and Nev here. Hello. 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 Um, this rather uncomfortably closed shot is because uh, we've got no one on cameras today, that's why that's happening. We're here to sort out Neville's pedal board um, for a few reasons. I'm going to get out a shot so I can play with cameras. Okay. Um, there will be a pedal board build today and it will be very, very interesting. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Especially for me. Why are we here then, Nev? Well, um, it's a long story, which I'll try and curtail. On stage with Marty Wilde, I use a Line 6 Helix, which is absolutely fine for that gig. And it, it does sound great. And it is a sound that I can connect with, as mm -hmm. you were saying yep. earlier on. And I thought it had gone wrong. Long story short, it wasn't. It was pilot error on my part. Right. Because the battery, the, because the cable on my transmitter had frayed. And so okay. when I took it, a guitar off and put that one back on, I lost 80% of my sound out of the Helix. I thought it was the Helix. And it was doing it the same place every, every time in the show. So I thought, right, I'm going to get one of those pedal amps and make a pedal board up. Oh, okay. Uh, to, to replace it. In the end, I didn't. I've discovered after I've decided that it wasn't the Helix's fault at all. Okay. But I still want to make myself a nice pedal board. And, you know, I spoke to Mick and yourself and you kindly said, let's, let's do it. So I bought a pedal amp and bought some nice pedals. This is just my old pedal board that I used to use um, just for the three pub gigs I do every year right. with a little amp. Uh, and we thought, well, let, let's do it properly. So we're doing it properly. Very good. I guess what we need to do is have a look at your pedal choices. Mm. Um, let's start with the gain stages then. So <laughs> I thought this is, we've just, just been having a conversation about this. So you've been playing guitar how long? 50 something years. And this is a new discovery for you. It's a relatively <laughs> new discovery. I, 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 I've tried tube screams over the years and they don't really seem to work with my style of playing. Right, so I'm the same. I've never yeah. connected with the tube screamer. I've found them, you know. Yeah. Then you hear Mick play what it's like. Oh, well, exactly. Yeah. You hit the, peep, the style of playing that Mick does is absolutely perfect for yeah. that. And the other thing that I re discovered the same day I discovered that was mm -hmm. a Fender Deluxe Reverb. Because I've tried all my life to get on with the Deluxe Reverb. There's some weird hump in the sound that I don't get on with. Whether it's a hump or a scoop, I don't know. There's something there that I can't get rid of that thing that doesn't make it right for me. So it, your so your choice of amps then, you need to be able to switch between the Deluxe Reverb and you're saying the, the Lightning 15. I've got Lightning 15 and, matchless, right. yeah. So that'll be really interesting because they're voiced so differently. Yep. Um, you know, Tube Screamer with a Deluxe, perfect. With a Lightning 15, which has a lot of mids. Mm. So that'll be... Uh, Bit more challenging, yeah. But it's good, you know. Let's set it up so we've got some options, so that you know, no matter where you're going, you'll be able. To... Exactly. Well, I've got the king of tone. Luckily, I got a king of tone some years ago when they weren't absolutely stupid priced. Right. Um, again, I've never totally connected with it, although I've used it on my board all the time. Right. And I use it on, so I clearly I do get on with it. Sure. But it doesn't light me up. Okay. And I've always preferred the um, full tone OCD. Because it's that instant, martially kind yeah, of yeah. thing that, that I like. It's where I come from, sure. sonically. But I think with that and that, with its two gain stages, mm -hmm. I can probably get away with things. Well, let's have a play. I think we need to get the ACD out. So the ACD, King of Tone and the Tube Screamer. I mean, yeah. very difficult to go wrong yeah. with those yeah. three. We know where we're going to start. Uh, let's crack on. Fantastic. Okay, so before we can do any building, we need to decide what you want on the board. Exactly. Okay, so we've got, uh, this is something that Mick threw together. Look at this, it's lovely. Done a lovely job, Mick. Mm. Um, Don't patronize me. No, no, it's, it's really great. And I think I think this is for you to try out a couple of things, uh, the Volante for yeah. one, which I believe you got on very well with. I did very much, yeah. yeah beautiful thing. A Providence Anodyne Chorus. Which I've had for years, and I just really like it. It's sweet sounding. Does the job. Excellent. There's your OCD V2, yeah. is it? I'm honestly not sure. 1.7. There's one point. Oh, nice, very good. Um, broadcast. Now you you basically left this on. I did. I just found it did that something to any tone I had. Right. That just made it nicer. It's such a wonderful, wonderful yeah. thing. Okay. So then we've got 
TS9, King of Tone. Yeah. Um, we're not going to use the D3 because that you've got a sound in here that basically yeah. does that. And I'm not going to use the, the, the tremolo. tremolo, even though I really like that, because I've got a Strymon Flint, which will do the tremolo. And, oh, so we're going to have a Flint a on here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Volante and a Flint. Okay. And then we're going to have one, two, five... Okay. What board have we gone for then? Yes, what board have we gone well, for then? Um, well, this was the board that Mick had. This was a 350, the, the um, uh, Schmitt Array 350. But we went for the 450, which it just gives a little bit more uh, real estate, but sure. doesn't start to go bonkers. It okay. look like you've got mission control. Okay, very good. Which I'm a bit wary of. Fair enough. Very nice. The next thing I'll do is work out exactly the signal path you want. Mm. And we'll try a few things. We'll go in the room and make sure that you're happy with the, the way things, against the way we stack the gain stages together, then okay. you're getting the sounds that you want. Um, because once we sort of make those decisions and we wire it in, yeah. it'd be a lot trickier to move things around, Absolutely. you know, post that. So we'll get a few things plugged in and just get some sounds together before I start doing okay. everything properly. Okay. Let's have an update then, Daniel. Um, right. So, just looking at the gain stages, basically the order for stacking purposes, okay? So Nev, at the moment, has this always on, um, which is great, and it does add a little bit of sizzle. So the boost, we want it to go after this, otherwise any volume increase going into the broadcast, we're just gonna limit more, and we'll get those sizzling edges, we'll simply get more sizzly, but we're not gonna get the lift we need. So I'm gonna put the Tube Screamer after the broadcast. The King of Tone and the OCD, I'm actually gonna put those before the broadcast because we're using these as tone shapers as opposed to lifters, as it were. You know, the broadcast still has headroom, um, but you know, when we do want the, that serious lift for solos and stuff, uh, we don't want these mid frequencies compressing before everything else. So. I'll start with the OCD and King of Tone before the broadcast. We'll see how Nev gets on with that. Do I really need all these gain stages? I mean, it seems a bit of a sledgehammer to crack a walnut. I, I worry about being too pretentious with it. You worry about being too pretentious? Well, like, you look at here, all these things he's got. You know. I can hide them all under here so you never see them. Okay. Don't worry about it. All it's right. all good. No, the, okay. I'll, I'll tell you why. Mm. Uh, first thing, this gives you choices depending on the amp yep. that you get, you know, you, you gig with. Yep. If you turn up with the um, the reverb, the uh, deluxe reverb, then the TS9 is going to sound great. You may actually choose to have that on most of the time. Yep. Um, but there's enough color here and variation to work with anything. But I I like think like that as a Marshall S type tone mm -hmm. is an absolute classic. This for the lower gain um, sizzle boosty thing, I think it's still the best okay. one out there. That as an always on uh, shaper as you've been using it, um, and it just does something to the core tone. That's that, that it gives a clarity. Yeah, and that's got the fuzz side as well, hasn't it? So it does, can, it does. So you can actually kick it on as a fuzz. Yeah. Yeah. And Chief Screamer is a solo boost. I mean, I, yeah. I, I genuinely think that it's it's a wonderful gain stage and combination. Okay. Um, you know, we'll spark it up okay. and you'll play okay. and make sure that it gives you the combinations that you want. But I just think this is all bases covered. Okay. 
Great. Know, so, all fit in and, and, and well, yeah. Dead. So we've got we've got with well, the tube screamer. We've got four gas stages tuner and three uh, chorus reverb and delay. Yeah. Update, it's been about half an hour. I have literally thrown this together. Yeah. Um, so we can go and do some sound tests and make sure that this works the way you want. But I'll quickly show you my thought process. Okay. Right. So your guitar comes in and it's going straight to the polytune. Now these have got a really good true bypass on them, so that'll be fine. You just hit that to tune. Yep. From there, it hits. Uh, we go into the first switcher. Now you've got two gain stages here. You've got your OCD and you've got your King of Tone. Yep. The idea is because they are, um, you won't be stacking those gain stages, mm. right? So I've set this up so that you can go from your OCD. If you want your King of Tone, it'll, uh, if I turn it on, right? So it'll go OCD. If you want the King of Tone, it'll turn the OCD off. Right. Go straight to the King of Tone. That's the OCD. And you just, you know, you can turn them okay. on and off. But that will save one stop between those two. Because you won't, you know, that'll be your more gainy drive. That'll yeah. be your less gainy drive. Yeah. Okay. From there, we're going into the broadcast, which is on all the time. Yeah. Right. And that's also acting as your buffer. Okay. Okay. And then you can put access to that fuzz switch there. Yep. Yeah. From there, you've got your TS9 boost, your chorus pedal. Sorry, Nev. It's okay. I'm hitting you in the head with cables. <laughs> you've got your delay, your volante, and the flint. Right. Okay. So obviously you can have all those on. They're just on off. Why, Dan, why have you used uh, a four and a two and not a six? Well, I, I didn't have a six here, but Having the two in the front gave me the opportunity, because the broadcast is on all the time, I don't need to put that in a loop. Mm. So I'm coming out of the two, going straight to the broadcast, from the broadcast going back into the four. But also having the two, um, because the idea is that we won't be stacking between the OCD and the King of Tone. They're two sort of independent sounds. Mm. Um, I mean, we can stack them if you want, but because I've got them in their own separate... Um, dual switcher it means that I can flip flop between either one yeah. which is just one less footstep instead yeah. of having to go and turn that off and then turn that on yeah. you can just flip flop between them and then turn them off okay okay two questions yep if I turn the broadcast off yep does it change everything at all because mm. given that I'm presuming that's on all the time for just that my shimmery boost and colour that it brings to yeah. the, to the sound. Um, if that goes off for some reason, if I turn it off for some reason, so that everything go flat. No, it just, okay. it'll just, just be the just sound be, without, without that off. That, okay. And the other thing on the King of Tone, it's got two different. Things. Yes. So what? How? Do so we... the idea. Well, the idea with the King of Tone is that we would set it up <clears throat> to give you a specific sound. Okay. If we work out that what you'd rather do is have access to those foot switches, then we'll put it somewhere you've, you've got access okay. to them. All right. Um, but for the moment, I've just stuck it there yeah. Yeah. because the idea is that we'll be using the tube screamer to give you that that boost, that lift, yeah. okay. um, and just switching between those two as, as gain sounds. Okay, that's um, the point of going to plug in, though, isn't it? Yeah, that we need to yeah. check tests yeah. out and see yeah. it. You know, having the OCD and the King of Tone on your board, you've got you know two really great. Um, Gain stages there, and then using the TS9 as the boost um, that you've got access to, I think will will work really well. We'll okay. give it a go. Yeah, yeah, great. I think the right honourable gentleman ought to make a mitigating statement about the rat's nest underneath the top panel. Uh, so, <laughs> like, yeah, like I said, I've literally thrown this together just so that we can run some audio through it and make sure that this signal path is going to work. Yeah. And, and I've done things like I've, mm. I've raised this here so that you can get your foot to it and yep. all that sort of stuff. Um, but it, you know, if this works uh, or not, you might you know we might want to get access to the OCD. We might have to put that up top. Um, yeah, whatever. This is just so we can have a play. Okay. Right. Cool. All right. Let's go and set it up. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Back in the room. All okay. right. 
so what we're going to do now, throw everything together, and we're just going to quickly test and see how you're feeling about, you know, first of all, we're going to stick into the Deluxe Reverb. Yeah. So let's set the broadcast. Or show me how you would set the broadcast up. Um, uh, well, well I'll turn that off for now. Okay. So this will be guitar straight through. Yeah. Treble pick up but wide opens. Yep. That's the guitar wide open with no broadcast. Okay. That's pretty much how I'd set it, just okay. to give it a bit of... You, you can hear what it's done to it, yeah, it's just yeah. giving it... Remember the old... Um, the uh, Those old cassette players? Yeah. That, that they used to... There's a loud button on it. Remember? Do you remember the loud button? It yeah. just kind of made everything... Yeah, the go, enhanced button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it does a similar kind of thing. Okay. Everything sounds better with it. Nice. Okay, great. Well, we'll leave that on. Okay. So let's have a listen to the OCD. Sounds great. Mm. Sounds that... very natural, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is how I've got the, I've got the King of Turns set up just this side at the moment. Yep. sounds like it's happening naturally. Yeah, it's all working together. Yeah. So basically, yeah. the idea was that you could switch between the OCD and the, and the King of Tone. You basically have one higher gain side and one lighter gain side. Yeah. <clears throat> um, now, I've got the boost side turned off at the moment of the King of Tone. Right. Because it seemed to enter the, the deluxe. Yeah. It doesn't seem to need that. No. Uh, the, other, the other boost side on. We'll try it into the um, lightning in a bit. Okay. But I think that sounds really great. And the idea then, we'll have a listen to the tube screen up mm. just on its own. So you can hear how it's shaping everything. It cuts yep. all the bottom end. It yep. sticks all that, you know, seven eighty hertz. I think it is into uh, into the amp. So then, if we put the OCD on, I'm going to keep the tube screamer on as a boost. Okay. All right. So.
So it still works on its own. Yeah. Nice. I think that works. Really, really works. Yeah, really, really works. works. Okay, so then. Should we have a listen to the lightning then? Yeah. Yeah. Those okay. same gain stages. Great. And just see. Perfect. Um, tell you what's interesting, right? So there's a Neo speaker in that deluxe reverb. All right. Num yeah. Number one, it's brighter than ours by a yes, magnitude measure of magnitudes. Yep. <laughs> it's also. It's at two and a half. You wouldn't be able to hear ours at two and a half. No, mm. that's barely on the, two and a half. The taper on the volume control mm. is totally, totally different. Really? Really interesting. Wow. Uh, where do we go in here? Oh, there's only one place to go in. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Sounds as nice on any of those sounds and very different to the deluxe. I'm really pleased how well it works in the both amplifiers, yeah. considering how vastly different yeah. the amps are. They're almost opposite, aren't they? In a way? That's yeah. an astonishing sounding amp. Definitely yeah. gainier yeah. going into that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's so weird. I mean, the matchless, even though it's a kind of AC15 y type thing, it sounds much more Hendrix than. Than that, yeah. it's immediate. Yeah, yeah, because it's well, the yeah. mid range is in a very different place yeah. with the match of stuff, and it's, it's the bottom end in that thing is fat. So you hear the difference in the bottom end between the King of Town and the OCD. Yeah, a lot clearer in that. You do, but it sounds flipping great. Okay, that's great. Just have a quick uh, listen to the uh, chorus. Okay.
for an opinion. Yeah. yeah. I much prefer the matchless. Yeah, I do too. I thought that was perfect. And now that's more perfect. It's just got mid, all the mids back. Yeah. yeah. Now I think yeah. if we just turn that up, it would get the mids back. But I think you'd have to really turn it up. But then it's too loud. Yeah. <sighs> Man. They are... Yeah. Their mattress is my happy place. Yeah, it's me too, so good. Dan. Always has been. Well, in a normal world, mm. I would prefer the deluxe every day of the week. Right. But <clears throat> I way prefer that. Yeah. By yeah. an order of magnitude. Yeah. Stood back there. The mid-range is just where you want it in a guitar. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling that as well? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Well, as I say, I thought the I thought the deluxe sounded perfect and everything was nothing wrong at all. Yeah, yeah. Plugged into that, oh, oh crikey. Yeah. It's well, you know I said like you press the the loud button. Yeah, yeah. It's done the same thing. Mega bass. It's, it's, it's done what the broadcast has done. It's just done it, yeah. but more. So I guess the question remains, sorry for walking in and out. That's right. Shot all the time. Just need to be on the mic. Um, the question remains then, is that, are those gain options too complex? No, they're not because it, it's three or four options, isn't it? Yeah. And, and you know, I've, even my brain can comprehend that just yeah. now. And you can sort of, and there's sense in taste. it, the sense in the, in the logic of it as well, which I would learn. I mean, that they couldn't be much closer to what I would want, to right. be honest with you. I really mm. like that you've got your high gain, your sort of lower gain, but then the, the tube screamer, which works beautifully on its own as well yeah. as a boost. Yeah. So, and with the matches, which you kind of think well, it should, probably shouldn't, but oh, it should be. Look, just stick anything into a match. It just true. sounds flippant yeah, magic. It's true. Um, I also love what the broadcast is doing in yeah. that as well. So yeah. if you're happy, I'll get to work. What do you think? If Larry were here, I couldn't be more happier than him. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Let me go and get to, I'll start wiring and get putting everything together. Okay. Brilliant. Did I say okay. more happier? That'll do. I hope I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a magazine editor for God's sake. Okay, some time has elapsed. I've been to pick the dog up from the vets. These chaps have been enjoying what's happening. Uh, Dan, where are we? What have we done? Uh, so, we have wired everything in now, so it's not a rat's nest, to make it nice and easy. So now just open this up and adjust what he needs to. I'm just putting the power in now, but all the cabling has been done to make it all pretty. Just reiterate again why mm. we've got the two switches. So this, the uh, signal path is our guitar is coming in through our junction box. It's going straight into the tuner here, the, the Polytune 2 true bypass. And the true bypass on these is really good. From there, we were going into our first Loopy 2, like the two switch um, quartermaster. And we have our two main gain stages, the OCD and the King of Tone. The Oct. The Oct. If you've never watched Phone Jacker, he'd phone up and say, hello, can I have an Oct? <laughs> so the idea is that Neville can switch between either one of these or nothing. So and that's on flop flip mode. That's on flip flop mode. Do you say flop flip or flip flop? Yeah, flop flip flop. <laughs> so, um, and from there... Frenchman sandal? <laughs> Philly flop? No. <laughs> uh, so from after this one, we're going into the broadcast. So I wanted the broadcast after these two gain stages. Yep. Right. Um, because we're not, even though the broadcast has got really lovely headroom in it, I don't want to boost signal into the broadcast. So, you know, we're looking at our gain staging rules. We are um, ch using these as uh, tone changes. So the gainier things first. The gainier things first. We've got this lovely broadcast, which is like an overall shaper. It's putting that lovely preamp after the main gain stages. And this is on all the time. So it sits between these two. So after the gain stages, we're going into the broadcast. From the broadcast, we go into the second switcher, which has the TS9, which is set up at the moment as a boost. However, even on its own, 
it sounds flippin' magic. So we've got these. Can I just record this for posterity? Where yes. Two people in my life who really don't like tube screamers are both saying they really like the tube screamer. Well, one of the one of live the, and we, learn, Mick. Live and learn. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Hearing the tube screamer into that lightning, the matchless lightning. It did sound mega. Far yeah. out, man. Yeah. It did sound mega. So, I, I, what I really like about this is that we've got three distinctive sounds on tap, but using the tube screamer as a boost, which we do all the time, and it just sounds so great because it's cuts off that bottom end and just gives you this lovely projection in the voicing, which is really lovely. And then we have our chorus, Flante and Flint, and they're all here next to the, next to the booth. So everything that Neville needs is like easily accessed. Yeah. All, all here. Um, and there's an extra gain stage in the broadcast. Should that be required? But it's easy enough to, to get to yeah. everything here. And we also decided to make this as a pure pedal board, not have it with, with the, the pedal amp on it. Yeah. Which I could, I'll make a little mini board, perhaps with the flashback and a little drive pedal on it, just so it's a emergency thing. Yeah, so you can use that if necessary. If, yeah. yeah. A, a gig bag, essential exactly. sort of exactly. approach. And yeah. that will just be a pure pedal board that will go into an amp. Yeah. Which I think we've decided is going to be a mansion. And we're back in the room. We are. Right, the board has been done. Quick sneak preview. Here we go. Ooh, so now it's pretty. So neat. Now it's yeah, lovely. Very pretty. Thing of joy and delight. Indeed. So let's start uh, dialing in some tones then. Okay. Um, so we've got the broadcast that's basically always on. So I'll just turn that on and off so uh, the good people can hear it. Okay. adds that thing doesn't it's it? It's a magic thing. Yeah, it is. Especially into the matchless. Yeah. It just works so yeah, beautifully. It does. It does really nicely. I mean it's a nice sound without it. When yeah. you put it on it, it suddenly becomes, oh my god, it's, yeah. something's happened. It, yeah, it adds a sheen. It does, it does, it does, sheen. yeah. Okay, so let's throw the OCD on top of that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just I can't get over what the broadcast is doing to the OCD. I know. So that's amazing. Okay, uh, listen to the King of Tone. <laughs> Good. 
so it's so dynamic. Yeah, it really is. It you know, it's incredible. That's the one reason I've never really been take been able to get it off my board. Yeah. Um, KOT. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you for a clean tone, Ned? What what what, what would you use for a clean tone? Um, probably everything. All the drives off with, but with the broadcast, the broadcast on. on. Yeah, you yeah. should try that because presumably you'd be on the volume control a bit, would you? Soft, there isn't it? It's a bit, yeah. plus a bit more trouble from somewhere. I don't know where it would go to the bridge pickup, and it be, be, might be too bright. Sounds fantastic. Interesting. So the reason I the reason I was asking about the brightness and everything. Yeah. Turn the volante on, and mm. I don't know whether it's the intrinsic sound of the pedal or whether it's just buffering that bit more. Shouldn't really, because the broadcast should be buffering as much as it it's as anything else. It's but the it sound of the preamps in the in the Strymon. There's more sparkle. Yeah. With it on. Yeah. Um, that was flipping great. Can we? Can we hear? Because you, it's your, it's Neville's Les Paul that I've been borrowing. <laughs> oh yeah. All this, yeah, all these, right. all this time. It would be good to hear some humbuckers. Okay. Um, here's uh, your guitar, my guitar, your. Okay. <laughs> Our guitar. Uh, 
Thank you. Hope there's no dents or cracks on this. Uh, <laughs> whoops! <laughs> Since you break it, you bought it! <laughs> Sounds rubbish. You just have to leave the guitar here. <laughs> <laughs> Flippin' heck. That sounds, that really does sound killer. I know. Tube Screamer. That, that was. Yeah. At the end. Um, and a Les Paul. That, that bottom E string, that sounds like Hendrix's 4x12, double 4x12 <laughs> cabinets, isn't it? And a 100 watt Marshall flat out. It's so it's mm. funny how marshall that, yeah. that is in, that, in those game yeah. sounds. That's wicked, man. Wow. I'm so pleased. I mean, it's absolutely beyond my wildest dreams. That does sound absolutely magic. It does. But it, this isn't complicated. It's it's no, no more complicated. As you know, I've been losing, using a Helix for sure. years. It's no more. It's, it's the same. It's 
you press on the sounds that you want at that moment. It's not brain fade, is it? It's, no, it's, indeed. It's, <laughs> indeed. Brilliant. Okay. It well, sounds amazing. It, it sounds does amazing. sound flippant. It really does. Fantastic. See Again, you soon. thanks, you guys. Oh, mate, our pleasure. So much fun.